Hello, everybody. Today, I will be talking about investing and doing business in Turkey. My presentation is going to focus on the main reasons to invest in Turkey. Turkey offers plenty of advantages and opportunities for companies to invest. There are at least 10 reasons to invest in Turkey. They are namely robust economy, domestic market, strategic location, favorable demographic, skilled workers with cost advantage, continuous reform policy of the government, business-friendly legislation, lucrative incentives for investments, benign research and development ecosystem, diversified economy with a strong and advanced manufacturing industry. To begin with the robust economy, Turkey has sustained robust and resilient economic growth over the past 18 years, with an average annual real GDP growth rate of more than 5%, which made Turkey one of the fastest growing economies in the world. When we compare Turkey with peer economies in the region, we will see that Turkey has been positively diverging from peer economies over the past 18 years with its impressive economic performance. Last year, Turkey once again proved to be resilient in a time when the COVID-19 has hit hard all economies across the world. Turkey managed to avoid an economic contraction last year, thanks to the government's targeted measures and policies, which have significantly mitigated the negative impact of the pandemic. As such, Turkey was one of the two G20 economies that avoided contraction and posted overall positive growth in 2020. Turkey's economic performance has been based on sound macroeconomic policies, such as successful management of public finance and reducing inflation. Successful management of public finance has provided the government with fiscal room to support and prop up the economy when needed, especially in times of crisis, economic crisis, either global economic crisis or regional economic crisis. The economy has more than tripled over the past 18 years. And this growth has been driven mainly by private investments, export opportunities, and a strong domestic market with a growing middle class. Turkey's economic growth has been translated into social, human, and economic development with decreasing poverty, increasing life expectancy, employment, and female labor force participation which eventually created a sizable middle class with increasing purchasing power. The domestic market is quite diverse and dynamic with 24 emerging urban centers with populations over 1 million, therefore offering plenty of opportunities across Turkey. Of course, opportunities are not limited to the domestic market only. Turkey also offers free access to lucrative markets in the region because we have customs union with the European Union, and also we have an extensive network of free trade agreements with more than 25 countries. Once you're in Turkey, manufacturing in Turkey, once you're manufacturing in Turkey, you have free access to almost 1 billion potential customers in the region. Access to these markets is further supported by Turkey's strategic location, which makes Turkey a regional hub for multinational companies to manufacture, export, and manage their operations in the region. That is why many, many global companies such as Toyota, Ford, Nestle, Hugo Boss, BSH, they have all chosen Turkey as a manufacturing and export hub. They are manufacturing in Turkey and exporting a significant portion of their production to the markets around Turkey. Companies are also using Turkey as a management hub to oversee and manage their operation, their business operations and activities in the region from their headquarters in Turkey. Because of Turkey's proximity to major markets around Turkey, where you have potential 1.5 billion people and a combined GDP of 24 trillion US dollars in Europe, MENA and Central Asia. And you, you can access these markets 
at a four hour flight distance. As we, all, all the, as we have already talked about, Turkey also has an extensive network of free trade agreements. And Turkey is also well connected with the rest of the region, especially through Turkish Airlines, which flies to 269 international destinations in 127 countries. That is the largest international flight network in the world. Such a convenient location has enabled Turkey to tap significant export opportunities in the region and increase its share in global trade. Over the past 18 years, Turkey has significantly diversified its export markets. With half of its population below age 33, Turkey's young, dynamic, and growing population is another attractive factor for investors as it continues to boost working age population with a low dependency ratio. That is the ratio of working age population, uh, that's the ratio of non-working uh, population to working population. Turkey offers a skilled labor force with a comparative cost advantage, especially in terms of qualified engineers and competent senior managers. When we look at the availability of qualified engineers, as well as uh, competent senior managers, we will see Turkey is relatively in a better position vis-a-vis -vis peer economies in the region. This workforce is supported by a robust education system, which promotes and facilitates, facilitates cooperation between academia and industry. There are more than 200 universities in Turkey and almost 1 million students graduates from universities every year. With over 50 universities, Istanbul has one of the largest concentrations of universities and higher education institutions in the world. Over the past 18 years, Turkey's labor force has significantly transformed from low education to higher education. The educated and qualified workforce has also been a driver of the entrepreneurial ecosystem in Turkey with successful startups going global. As a result, Turkish startups have attracted significant investments from all around the world, which resulted in two unicorns. Let me give you one example how Turkish startups have been creating value for their investors. Over the past decade, Turkish startups raised a total funding of 0.8 billion US dollars. That is less than $1 billion funding. But when we look at the exit value of those fundings, we see that it has significantly increased to $6 billion US dollar. A decade ago, Turkey's startup, startup ecosystem was almost non-existent. However, over a decade, it has significantly transformed and improved into one of the fastest growing and promising ecosystems in the world. That's mainly because of the entrepreneurial spirit of our private sector. However, government's policies have also contributed to the development of uh, this ecosystem, especially through exclusive reforms and incentives for startups. Turkey has a continuous reform policy implementing sweeping reforms in many areas, as we said, including exclusive reforms for startups. These reforms have transformed and improved Turkey's investment climate, making it, making it one of the most liberal and business-friendly countries in the world. When we look at the reform policies of Turkey, we we'll see two important factors. First, it is a continuous policy, and hence it has been upgraded and updated constantly according to the changing global and domestic conditions. The second factor is that 
reforms haven't stayed on paper only. They have tangible results on the ground, facilitating and improving the business environment. Let me give you two examples how it has changed the business environment on the ground. Back in 2002, establishing a company in Turkey was taking 38 days, so more than a month to establish a company in Turkey. However, today it takes only a week to establish a business in Turkey. Similarly, in early 2000s, Turkey was mainly close to foreign direct investment. However, according to OECD's FDI, Foreign Direct Investment Regulatory Restrictiveness Index, Turkey has significantly opened up and liberalized it is investment climate to foreign investment. As such, Turkey has emerged as one of the most reformer countries in the world according to OECD study. And today, Turkey is more open to foreign investment than countries such as Switzerland, Poland, Brazil, USA, Canada, India, China, and Russia. The reforms created a business-friendly investment climate which protects foreign investors in Turkey through domestic and international legal mechanisms. We have an exclusive foreign direct investment law which brings national treatment, meaning once you establish a company in Turkey, your company is deemed as a Turkish company, as a local company. Therefore, it equally uh, benefits from all opportunities and incentives in Turkey. The law also brings international arbitration. It also uh, allows company to purchase real estate. It also allows companies to transfer their uh, profits without any restrictions. And also it enables companies to employ uh, expats. Turkey has also bilateral investment protection treaties with 75 countries. Moreover, we have treaties to avoid double taxation with 80 countries. Turkey also actively supports investors through exclusively designed incentives for various investment projects ranging from manufacturing to R&D projects. Exclusive incentives for R&D and innovation created a benign ecosystem which attracted over 200 multinational companies to establish R&D centers in Turkey. When we look at the Turkey's performance over the past 18 years, we can see that Turkey has been drastically transforming its research and development ecosystem with increasing R&D spending as well as with increasing number of researchers. As we can see, many, many global companies such as Ford, Mercedes, PNG, Unilever, uh, Siemens, Bosch, all of them are conducting significant research and development activities in Turkey. Turkey has a diverse economy with a strong and advanced manufacturing industry, which is supported by a robust infrastructure and efficient services. When we look at the region where Turkey is located, excluding Western European economies, you will see that Turkey is the only country which pretty much produces everything from automotive to food and beverage, from machinery to electrical equipments, from outer space to defense, from chemicals to uh, pharmaceutical products. Turkey's diverse and strong industrial capabilities moved up the value chain, transitioning from limited manufacturing to advanced manufacturing in the global value chains, which is becoming more and more important nowadays because many, many companies have been faced with disruptions due to global, uh, due to global pandemic COVID-19. As such, their global supply networks have been disrupted and they are looking for new locations to secure and diversify their supply networks. And Turkey offers opportunities for uh, global companies that would want to relocate some of their overseas operations to diversify their global supply chain networks. That is why 
According to a recent Fitch analysis, Turkey stands to gain the most from a shift of supply chains of mid-range manufacturing in emerging Europe. Turkey's advantages and opportunities have been appreciated by foreign investors with increasing FDI influence over the past 18 years, in which Turkey attracted 225 billion US dollars. Turkey has been attracting investing investments from all around the world, from Europe to Asia, from US to Gulf countries. When you look at the sector composition of the investments, we can see that Turkey has been attracting investment to in many, many sectors, from manufacturing to finance, from energy to infrastructure. Now, finally, let me briefly talk about my organization, which supports and assists investors before, during, and after their investments in Turkey. We are a governmental agency reporting directly to the president of Turkey. We have a private sector approach with all public sector capabilities. And we act as a solution partner for uh, investors. We provide investors with general and customized business information, sector analysis and reports. We also provide companies with site selection support to find appropriate land or location for their investments. We also arrange meetings with governmental bodies and other stakeholders. We also help companies find potential partners and also establish linkages with business in Turkey. With that, my presentation ends here and I thank you very much.